We're going to be doing something here with the cups and balls, just a little demonstration of them. Say that you've seen how the magician does this before, is that he'd place the ball on top of the cup, have you take a look at it. Then he would take the ball from the cup, place it into his hands, and do a little magical gesture, making it disappear completely. You'd ask where it would be at, well, it would appear underneath the cup. Standard deal. This one will result in the big finishes that we would do. Say he turned it into a red ball and placed it on top of the cup. He would then take, do the same kind of move again. He would take the ball, place it into the hand, make it all disappear totally. And ask where it would be, you'd say it would be under the cup. You would be wrong. It would be an apple. And say we went ahead and stake with the regular theme of using a little yellow tennis ball. He'd have that placed on top of the cup. Magician would toss the ball into his hand, make it all disappear, and ask you where it would be at. You would say it'd be under the cup. You'd be right. It would be a tennis ball under the cup. Our final ball that we would have would be a marble, and that would be for the big finish. We would take the empty cups, place them all on top of each other. We would take the ball, place it in the hand, make it disappear, and underneath would be... Marble.